Hey guys. So last week, um, while I was letting my birds settle on the landing board, I was letting them go through the trap. A few of them got away on me, and I lost a few birds. Man, I hate it when that happens. The good news is, a couple of them came back. Sad news is, a couple of them did not. But, someone did call me. And they found my bird. Remember that I have a little ring on their leg? It says, my phone number. Oh yes, oh yes. So, that's good. Anyways, this bird is up in Pennsylvania. 70 miles away. <laughs> Road trip. My goodness. Well, the good news is Maryland and Pennsylvania. Beautiful country. At least it's scenic. Look at all these Maryland horse farms. Look at that. That's beautiful. All right, so about a year ago, these two kind individuals rescued one of my racing pigeons, Flyboy, you guys remember that? Look at this, they found another bird and rescued it, and we're gonna find a home for this bird. So it's a Budapest High Flyer, really cool breed, wow. So one, next time, if this happens a third time, we're gonna build a pigeon loft in your backyard. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy guys this bird that I rescued it's not doing well it is emaciated I mean it's pretty bad I don't know if it's going to make it that is an emaciated bird skinniest racing pigeon I've ever felt. I mean, this bird has not <laughs> eaten, probably. All right, so we're gonna take care of it. Let's see what we can do for it. We can give it some ideal pills. You know, pop it with some vitamin-rich water. And then I've got some vitamins and garlic oil mixed in on its food. So hopefully we'll get this one saved. All I can do is all I can do. We'll just see. This little bird flew 70 miles. Go over Cheever. Today I'm shipping some birds that, if I'm being honest, I do not want to ship. <laughs> this is one of them. 191. Off of 278 Marie Curie. I showed this to you once. What a beautiful bird. <laughs> Really long keel. I just like the way she handles. Great balance. Single pin tail. She is a good one. What's interesting about this pair, oh, she's just totally trembling, is with some of their youngsters, you hold them and they kind of like scrunch up their shoulders a little bit. Like that, they hold their wings up like that. It's kind of funny. When you first pick them up, that's the first thing they do is just go So, Great granddaughter of black caviar, right here. From Macaloni Pigeons. What a beauty this one is. All right, little caviar. Make us proud. New Mexico bound. 195. Griffin and Aztec turquoise. Guys, this was a real dilemma for me. You know, I, it's one of those that uh, I offered to someone in the nest, in fact, as eggs. But boy, I wish I could keep this. <laughs> Griffin and Aztec turquoise. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Two, 
two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. That pair has never produced an eleven flight bird. Now all of a sudden we have one out of my favorite pair. And <laughs> it's a beautifully put together cock. Oh, I'd love to keep this one. But, I guess I gotta be true to my word, <laughs> right? Beautiful cock, holy smokes. I'm excited to see what this guy does. 195. 196, goodness gracious. What's in the water over here at Robertson Family Racing Pigeons? Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Griffin and Aztec turquoise. Beautiful little hen. Another one I'm sad to say goodbye to. One eighty one. Falco and Cantadora hen. I don't want to say goodbye quite yet. I want to get you in the shipping box first. This is an 11 flight bird. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 10, even though you can't see that. Because of its, the way it's dropped its flights, but oh, what a beauty. What a beauty she is. This one. 186 off of Tucson Little Aztec. This one's going to Litchgate Loft. Beautiful little bird. Cock. Tucson and Little Aztec. Today I'm shipping some birds today 